And welcome back to Subculture on Central Coast Radio.com. Well, now we're going to take a look at a brand new theatre production that is on in Melbourne at the moment. One of the biggest theatre productions of last year that got absolutely rave reviews was A Christmas Carol. And this year, it has returned back to to the comedy theatre in Melbourne with an all new cast this time around, of course, being led by Owen Teal, who plays Scrooge. This is the retelling of the, of course, the the famous Charles Dickens story. Uh, Lee, what did you think of A Christmas Carol? Because this is one that you'd wanted to see for a while. Yeah, well, from the start, the atmosphere is set with actors in their old English costumes, walking through the theatre with their baskets full of mince pies and mandarins, and they're greeting everyone by saying Merry Christmas, and of course with a lot of enthusiasm. Um, I guess it's so festive that it really actually feels like Christmas. You've entered um, a world where Christmas is already here. And I guess soon after, um, the cast is on stage with their instruments and, of course, their beautiful voices, um, and they're singing with beautiful harmonies. Uh, Music bells bring a beautiful sound to the carols, I must say, in this um, production. The play has a number of um, parts or acts to it. The story starts with a man um, fixated on wealth and money and he has no desire to celebrate Thanksgiving or share it with anyone else. He is visited by the ghosts um, of the past, present and future. He's taking back to relive key moments of his life and, um, and it also shows the consequences of decisions that he's made or actions that he's um, carried out. Um, and it shows, I guess, the consequences of what he has to live with or has lived with and he hasn't even realised really. Um, but it also shows the consequences that his actions um, and decisions have had on other people. Um, and it shows, because it's past, present and future, it always show, it's also showing what he and others might um actually have to live with if he continues to make such decisions he's taken on a journey where he could be transformed and be a more joyful person in the world if he chooses the acting from all the cast is superb you are drawn into the story and you're immersed in the feelings the highs and lows of life and you have a strong sense of hope because you are hoping that um, he will be transformed and will be happy and peaceful and have a life filled with love and shared with family and friends. Now, some of the things I really loved um, were the costumes. I thought they were, you know, they were the old English costumes. Um, and there's many of them because it's quite a large cast, actually. Um, and there's beautiful singing, there's dancing, the choreography is really good. But the set design is very clever too. So there's things hidden in the floor um, and they're able to make a lot out of what seems to be not much um, that's kind of visual. Things just come to life out of nowhere, even, you know, holding little lamps as they're walking around and things like that. Um, the doors that or door frames that come up and down and create different scenes. Um, now, Owen Teal plays Scrooge and he does a magnificent job. Um, you know, you can really feel that that he is the character. Um, and there's a few surprises in there. Um, Bernard Curry is in there as a character called Bob Cratchit. Um, and he, I love his performance. He plays a father, but also um, he works for Scrooge. And, um, yeah, he just brings a beautiful um, piece to the stage as a father and also a worker. Um, and someone else I hadn't realised was Deborah Lawrence is the ghost of Christmas past. Pippa from Home and Pippa Away. Pippa from Home and Away <laughs> many years ago. Um but yeah, there's great performances from Sarah Morrison, um, who plays Belle. And I really thought that um, that the child in this, the son, but he's played by 
an actress. An actress. Yep. Um, now, I don't quite know which actress we saw because three actresses, three children play this role. And I have to say, I'm not quite sure which actress we saw um, because, of course, they're, they're dressed up in um, a boy costume. Um, but they did a magnificent job as well. And I think it's quite a magical, um, magical production. You feel that you're, you know, immersed in Christmas. You feel, um, you know, the highs and lows of life. But you, you have that real sense of um, hope for the future. Um, you know, for mankind. Not, you know, it's focused on one man, but it actually makes you reflect on what decisions have I made in the past. What decisions will I make in the future? How am I affecting other people? How am I affecting myself? And do I make my life harder for myself at times? Um, but yes, I just have to say that the um, music is played beautifully. There's a number of different instruments. And um, yeah, you're just, um, yeah, just zoned into the... <laughs> The production the whole time i couldn't take my eyes off of the production for a minute because of it. yeah i think that was one of the things that i really enjoyed as well was the um the fact that you walked into the theater and it already felt like christmas with the the lights hanging down and the 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 parts of the cast like up and around you um handing you mince pies and things like that it, it kind of reminded me of what they did with once but yeah like you said as well there's an amazing cast here um i was a little bit disappointed when i first heard that david wenham wasn't going to be doing scrooge this year but um i thought owen teal was just absolutely amazing um in the role i also thought that yeah bernard curry was very very good as um bob cratchit um and Grant Pyro, who is a veteran of Australian stage and screen, um, he's done movies like Bad Boy Bubby, um, The Light Horseman and films like that. Um, him as Fizzywig was great as well. But um, just the fact that they've been able to put together such an amazing cast um, from what is technically a, a story to try and bring some Christmas cheer to Melbourne um, was really, really well done, I thought. And... Um, Amazing production, amazing, um, amazing performances by the actors. So, yeah, I really couldn't recommend this one any higher. I thought it was great. So uh, that's our review of A Christmas Carol. It is on right now at the Comedy Theatre. So if you want to go along, you can go to www.christmascarolaustralia.com.au and grab your tickets right now. You're on centralcoastradio.com. <laughs> 